Welcome to up to date Windows XP to Windows Vista. On the left we have XP and on the right we have Vista. So let's have a little comparison. Recycle bin on XP, which is used to store temporary deleted files, and then you can obviously empty the recycle bin to completely remove them, has, is right there on the bottom right hand corner, but in Windows Vista it has been moved here to the um, top, uh, top, or well, kind of left side. Now you notice the reason for this is because of the new sidebar which has kind of mini applications open just on the side of the screen, but we'll get to that a little later. So yeah, recycle bin's just been moved because it can't really go there anymore just because sidebar's in the way. Okay, now let's look um, at the desktop background. Windows XP, it's just a photo of a grassy hill, and on Windows Vista, it's just, well, what do you call it? A light, a light, really, a lightish kind of weird screen. It's not a photo, it's not anything, it's just a weird computer generated effect, I guess. Okay, whoops. Um, okay, so we have the start. Uh, taskbar still at the bottom here. So in Windows XP, it's a blue taskbar with a green start button to access all your programs. And in Windows Vista, it is a uh, a darkish kind of taskbar with a start orb. Notice I said orb instead of start button, although it still is a button. Start orb to access all your programs and start menu and all of that. Okay, the time is still displayed at the bottom in both operating systems. Um, you can still access the volume control in both operating systems. And everything's basically the same, just it, it looks quite different. That's, that's, it's just the same, it just looks different. It's just a different skin. Um, so in Windows XP, this skin is called Luna, and in Windows Vista, it's called Aero, or Aero. Whoops, yeah, probably Aero. Okay, so let's open the Start button, and compare Start Menus. Compare the pair. Okay, Windows XP Start Menu and Windows Vista Start Menu are extremely similar. It's not as big a jump as you took from Windows Me to Windows XP, but yeah, Windows XP to Vista, very similar. So here we can see all the recently used programs in Windows XP. Same goes with recently used programs in Windows Vista, although the top ones are pinned programs and these are also pinned programs, which means they always stay there. Okay, now let's check out the side here. We've got document, well, okay, here we go. Windows XP, my documents, my pictures, my music, my computer. In Windows Vista, documents, pictures, and music. So the thing about Windows Vista is, yeah, they do seem to, they've gotten rid of the word mine a lot of things, so my computer is just computer, stuff like that. Anyway, let's move on. Search has just been moved up a little bit, because search used to be there. Um, we've got recent items, which has been replaced with my recent documents. Uh, you can access network and my computer from here. Okay, we've got control panel, which has been moved down to here. And search has just been moved up. And run is no longer on the start menu by default. Okay, so... The next thing we'll be looking at is all programs. So all programs in Windows XP opens like this, it's kind of like a, a menu that opens sideways on the screen. Now this isn't exactly the same for Windows uh, Vista. You'll notice that all programs here in Windows Vista opens like this. So basically, default programs and all of these things here are kind of the equivalent of what you see here, Internet Explorer, MSN and stuff like that. Now the folders have been arranged so when you click a folder, oh whoops, click a folder, it opens downwards. So there we go, accessories has um, 
calculator, uh, command prompts, notepad, paint, and all the same programs are here. They just in just they they've just been put under accessories instead of next to accessories, as in XP. So yeah, they're under now. So if folders open downwards instead of sideways to try and not clutter up the start menu too much. They want to just try and keep it all in one place. They, they don't like all these menus going all over the place in XP. So now we're getting, we're staying in the start menu. We're not going on a little choose your own adventure somewhere <laughs> across the whole screen. Okay, so system tools, there it is. So that's basically how programs work. You can just open them like that. And yeah, that's how they work. Now let's look at the skin. So let's open Notepad. Wow, we're going to need that a little bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Accessories and Windows XP and open Notepad. So here's both Notepads. Now as you'll see, the skin has changed quite a... Well, quite a bit, but it's still the same basic skin. So here's a Close button in XP. Here's a Close button in Windows Vista. Close button in... Oh, whoops. Maximize button in XP. Maximize button in Vista, minimize button in XP, and minimize button in Vista. So, yeah, exactly the same. The buttons just look like they've been a little squashed down. Um, the resizing is exactly the same in both operating systems, as you can see. Windows Vista does have a slightly bigger border, though. One thing I should mention, which is very important, though, what you see here, this kind of Vista look, um, what would you call it, this Vista skin right now, Vista is usually transparent, but I'm using the Windows Vista basic theme, let me show you this, um, yeah, I'm, I'm using Vista basic theme, because this, uh, I'm using, um, Virtual PC to simulate this, and it, Vista can't simulate the area. Uh, transparency. So since there's no transparency yet, it's not transparent. So this is just Vista basic theme, although the Vista proper theme, or Vista area, looks much, much better. Okay, so everything's basically the same here, notepad's the same, all the programs are basically the same, but let me show you a cool nifty feature in Windows um, Vista that you might find interesting. So let's just open another program here. I want to open calculator, and I want to open run. Also, run, you see is how I open it. There's no run anymore here, as there was in XP. Because XP was there, but it's no longer there. You can access run in the start menu. Um, I think that's enough programs. So we've got three programs. We've got run, notepad, and calculator. Now, if I... Um, click on this little button here, that's the um, alt thing, and I can also go alt tab here, like that, and that the same thing was kind of in XP, um, let me just, oh, oh, well wait, let me just open another program, you could change between them like that, It's it just looks a little bit better in Vista, although I should mention that Unfortunately, I, th I thought I could do it, but since I'm still using the Vista basic theme, um, I can't exactly do a th the 3D Windows effect. So let me just quickly get a photo for you now so you can see what it looks like. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about. If you Alt-Tab while you're using Aereo in Windows Vista, you'll get this 3D window effect. But unfortunately, I don't have Aero since it's virtual PC. But if you want to see Aero, look at um, the next video I'm making on Windows 7, since I'll use um, my real computer. Anyway, I'll also now show you the proper Aero skin of Vista. Okay, so this is the proper Windows Vista skin here for Notepad, compared with the basic Vista skin. You can see how there is transparency when I move it around, so you can actually see through it. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, Christ. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm using Windows 7 to do this right now. Um, so yeah, this is the Windows Vista proper looking notepad and the proper looking start, well, proper looking buttons. So you can see the X is kind of more widened and all the buttons are kind of more widened. So that's that's the um, Vista kind of a 
proper Vista Aero default look to it. So if your graphics card can't handle it, you'll have this Vista skin. So anyway, let's move on. Now we come to the taskbar. Well, no, not the taskbar. The sidebar, which was removed from Windows 7. So we can move things like that in the sidebar, however we want. We've got the time. We've got um the CPU monitor usage. We can also add gadgets. So if you wanted to add a uh, what should we add? Um, if I wanted to add a, and a note there to um remember to make another video. Or something like that, I could put that there, and I can add other things to the side, such as a calendar, and unfortunately I have too many things up there, so let me just move that. Also, uh, it can be moved onto the desktop, like so, if you'd prefer things on the desktop. So you can have things on the desktop, or on the sidebar. So really, it's your choice of what you want to do. So they will be behind all windows so and that's that. Okay, so let's just quit these now. And if you want to remove the sidebar, if you find it annoying, you just click exit. And if you've got Windows 7, you don't even have to bother since they removed it anyway. Okay, last of all, making it look like changing the theme to Windows Classic. So we just go to theme. Uh, Windows Classic, click Apply, and there we go. Windows Vista now looks ex exactly as bad as Windows 95 did, or Windows Me, or whatever operating system you want to say, apart from the icons, however. Uh, and the Start menu, if you want to change that, just go to Properties, and Start menu, cha Classic Start menu, Apply, OK, and there we go. We've got the Classic what the start menu looks like with all the opening to the side and everything how it was basically in Windows Me or whatever you want to say. So there we go. Windows Classic Theme will never die. It is still in Vista, even Windows 7 actually. But anyway, there we go. Uh, I'll see you next time on Up to Date. Bye.